Heavily mutated Omicron variant put scientists on alert. NASA launched a spacecraft that will crash into an asteroid. Spider's web secrets unraveled. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. And researchers in South Africa are racing to track the concerning rise of a new variant of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus that causes COVID-19. The variant harbors a large number of the mutations found in other variants including Delta and it seems to be spreading quickly across South Africa. A top priority is to follow the variant more closely as it spreads. It was first identified in Botswana earlier this month and has since turned up in a traveller arriving in Hong Kong from South Africa. Scientists are also trying to understand the variant's properties such as whether it can evade immune responses triggered by vaccines and whether it causes more or less severe disease than other variants do. On 26th of November, the World Health Organization designated the strain known as B.1.1.529 as a variant of concern and named it Omicron on the advice of scientists who are a part of the WHO's technical advisory team on SARS-CoV-2 virus evolution. Omicron joins Delta, Alpha, Beta and Gamma on the current WHO list of variants of concern. Researchers also want to measure the variant's potential to spread globally, possibly sparking new waves of infection or excavating ongoing rises being driven by Delta. And with that, let's move on to story number two. And NASA launched a spacecraft with one simple mission, smash into an asteroid at 15,000 miles per hour. The mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test or DART, left Earth to test whether slamming a spacecraft into an asteroid can nudge it into a different trajectory. And results from the test, if successful, will come in handy if NASA and other space agencies ever need to deflect an asteroid to save Earth and avert a catastrophic impact. After launching to space, the spacecraft will make nearly one full orbit around the Sun before it crosses paths with Dimorphos, a football field asteroid that closely orbits a bigger asteroid called Didymos every 11 hours and 55 minutes. Astronomers call these two asteroids a binary system, where one is a mini moon to the other. Together, the two asteroids make one full orbit around the Sun every two years. Dimorphos poses no threat to Earth and the mission is essentially target practice. DART's impact will happen in late September or early October next year when the binary asteroids are at their closest point to the Earth, roughly 6.8 million miles away. Four hours before the impact, the DART spacecraft, formerly called a kinetic impactor, will autonomously steer itself straight towards Dimorphos for a head-on collision at 15,000 miles per hour. An onboard camera will capture and send back photos to the Earth in real time until 20 seconds before the impact. A tiny satellite from the Italian space agency deployed 10 days before the impact will come as close as 34 miles from the asteroid to snap images every 6 seconds in the moments before and after DART's impact. Telescopes on Earth will fix their lenses on the crash site showing the two asteroids as tiny dots of reflected sunlight. If Dimorphos's orbit around Didymos is extended by at least 73 seconds, DART will have successfully performed its mission. But mission managers expect the impact to lengthen the asteroid's orbit even more by about 10 and 20 minutes. For any small and distant asteroids that could threaten Earth in the next few decades, a mission like DART has a pretty good probability of getting the job done. And with that, we move on to story number three. Web weaving spiders that built blindly using the sense of touch have fascinated humans for centuries. Now, researchers from John Hopkins University have discovered precisely how spiders build webs by using night vision and artificial intelligence to track and record every movement of all eight legs as spiders work in the dark. The creation of a web building playbook or algorithm brings new understanding of how creatures with brains a fraction of a humans are able to create structures of such elegance 
complexity and geometric precision. The researchers led by Goddess studied a hackled orb weaver, a spider native to the western United States that is small enough to sit comfortably on a fingertip. To observe the spiders during their nighttime web building work, the lab designed an arena with infrared cameras and infrared lights. With that setup, they monitored and recorded six spiders every night as they constructed webs. They tracked the millions of individual leg actions with machine vision software designed specifically to detect limb movement. The findings of the research are published in the journal Current Biology. And with this, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. We will be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Until then, stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar.